what is the green dot on the parabola called? So this green dot is called maximum because if the vertex, if the parabola line is facing upwards, it is maximum. If it's facing downwards, it is minimum. What is the green called on the parabola is called? It is, it's called the maximum, but it has a name, which is the vertex. Which of the following is the vertex of the graph? So first what we're going to do is check the line, which is the um, x-axis and the y-axis. So it is the first we have to check the x-axis so if we go up it is at four so one two three four and on the y-axis it is zero because it is on the line so zero and four identify a of the following quadratic function so there is no B or C, so it is just one. Does the equation open up, up or down? Y equals negative three X power of two plus seven X minus two. So if the question says if the a is negative it opens down but if it's positive it opens up so here it is negative 3x so we're going to do down which of the following is not a quadratic function so obviously quadratic function has to have power of 2 so this one has the power of 2 this one has the power of 2 this one does not have the power of 2 and this one has the power of 2 so we're going to select this and this is not a quadratic function why because it doesn't have a power of 2 does this parabola have maximum or minimum as we said if the vertex is down it is minimum if it's up it is maximum and this one the vertex is down so it is minimum Identify b of the following quadratic function y equals x power of 2 plus 16x plus 64. As we said, the first one is a, the second one is b, and the third one is c. So we're going to look at b, which is the second one, and it is 16. The shape formed by the graph of quadratic function is referred to as quadratic, no, Cubic, no. Linear, no. Parabola. It is called parabola of the, the shape of the form. F of x equals 3x power of 2. Negative 4 is a quadratic function. Any equation, if it has the power of 2, it is a quadratic function and this one has 3x power of 2 so it is true identify a of the following quadratic function y equals x power of 2 plus 16 x plus 64 as we said we have a b and c and we have to find a so it is the first one which is 1 obviously x equals 1 if it doesn't have a number, it is always equal to 1. Identify A of the following quadratic function. Again, we have A, B, and C. We have to look and find A, which is 2. Quadratic equation take the shape of A. When graphed, it is wavy, line, and snaked. No. Is it U? Maybe. Is it circular or elliptical? No. Is it a straight line? No. It is the shape of a U.
Here we have identify c of the following quadratic function y equals negative x power of 2 plus 18x minus 75. So we have a, b, and c. It is negative 75. The c is always the last one. How can you tell whether a parabola opens up or opens down by looking at the equation? The vertex line tells you the direct of the opening? No. All parabolas open upwards? No. The value of A tells you the direction of the opening. If A, if A is 0, the graph opens up. If A is 0, which is negative, the graph opens down. So if it's positive, the graph opens up. But if it's negative, if A, if A is negative, it opens down. So this one is correct. Identify a of the following quadratic function y equals negative x power of 2 plus 18 minus 75 as we said We have to look at the first one because the first one is always a which is a negative one It says negative x, but x is always equals to 1 What is the vertex of the graph is its maximum or minimum as we said if the vertex is up it is maximum and if it's down it is minimum and this one is down as you can see here so it is minimum and it is always at zero zero identify c of the following quadratic function y equals x power of 2 plus 16 x plus 64 as we said c is always the last one so here is a here is B and here is C and it is 64. Identify B of the following quadratic function. Y equals 2x power of 2 minus 4x minus 2. As we said, B is the second one. Here is A, here is B, here is C. And B is negative 4. So here is negative 4. The standard form of a quadratic equation is y equals x, y equals x power of 2, y equals mx plus b, or y equals ax power of 2 plus bx plus c. Obviously, the first thing you're going to look at if it has power of 2. This one has a power of 2, and this one has a power of 2. Okay, the second thing you're going to look at is if it has a, b, and c in the equation. This one doesn't have, this one doesn't have, and this one also doesn't have. So the only thing is, we're left is here y equals ax power of 2 plus bx plus c. It has a, b, and c, and it has the power of 2. So that is the standard form of the answer. So as you can see here, we have 100. Thank you.